Hello everyone, Moose Thorn here, and I've finally made a reliable bleed build. I did that by dual wielding Ashen Warrior swords. These swords already come with bleed, so I found it very effective to have one uninfused in the right hand to deal more damage when the bleed is already inflicted, and have one in the left hand infused with the bleed to help build that up faster. And then it's very easy just to use the R1 and R2 attacks when bleed's already inflicted. I don't have to worry about switching weapons or anything. And it's very fluid. Another thing you could try is something like a Flamberge. If you want to try out something else that's going to be reliable in terms of bleed, but in my opinion this is going to be the most effective. My rings are Third Dragon Ring, Crest of Blood, Life Ring plus 3, and Ring of Life Protection. I have Rame's Helm, Rame's Armor, Rame's Gauntlets. No, I have Shadow Gauntlets. <laughs> and I have the Shadow Gauntlets because that gives me an extra 75 bleed buildup. Another reason why not having my right-handed sword infused is not a big deal. And Rame's Leggings. <laughs> Also important to note, lacerating knife. That really helps keep the pressure on. So let's get started. Fighting against someone using the scythe. I hardly ever see the scythe. That R2 attack, the stab, it's beautiful. Oftentimes you'll find it hitting people just when they reach the end of their roll. It also has nice reach on it. I didn't get it that time. And the lacerating knife to keep the bleed bar up as my opponent's running away. It looks like he's really trying to get away from me so his bleed bar will go back down. Another good thing about that R2 attack, you can follow it up with another stab. I think I got the bleed there. Yeah, he's running away. He's definitely got the bleed. Yeah, you could tell I only did 78 damage from that um, running L1, which is what I did before, and other time I did 200. Again, 75. <laughs> So that's the main thing you gotta watch out for, people running away once you get them bled out. I'm thinking about using a bow maybe. Something like that. Alright, let's see what we can do. Blossom Kite Shield. Ice Rapier again, I think. Not again as in for another time today, but in general. I just see that so often. Throwing knives, I, I just really love them. They can really help keep the pressure on if you're low on stamina. Although I don't think that was a very good trade-off. For me. Uh. <laughs> I like punched him in the hip and he spun around for the backstab. Looks like he might be fisting unless he has one of those illusory conqueror rings on. And the stab. Again. The stab. I think I got the bleed already, too. The X is it. Can never hit anybody with that. Oh god. What I can do...
Fingarl with the Black Knight Ultra Greatsword. I was hoping I'd get that poke in there. I clipped him in the booty. At the back end of his roll. Again, those knives. So important. Jeez. He's just swinging that thing. It's always hilarious when you get the bleed on the knife. I can't believe without even the bleed I killed him with a knife. We're fighting the Moonlight Butterfly, so it's going to be poison versus bleed. I think I already got the bleed. So I've drawn first blood, literally. Uh, I'm just getting everything going right this time. As soon as I say that though, I get backstabbed. That's why you never say things are going your way. Switched over to the warp sword. And then back to the katana, and back to the ground. Does he have the ring that deflects spells? Is that what that aura is? Little weird circular aura. I don't see it very often. But I think that's what it is. I also don't see, like, double cast is too often. Especially since the bone fist is a thing. Oh, it's just a fake out. A oh, ploy. Playing possum with the fists, and he'll just pull out a giant club. I guess he just had it tucked in the back of his pants. The pants club. It would suck though if it was realistic weapon carrying. Like all you could carry is a club. I think that was the bleed that finished him off. Good game, Clubby. Fighting someone with, I think that's a hide lance or hide spear, one of the two. I guess he didn't like his spear very much. I have no idea what just happened there. He's going on a hacking spree, aimlessly tapping R1, hoping for the best. It's like the spray and prey of the Dark Souls world. Always like two inches short from that stab. Exchanging knives here. Oh, the shield and stab. Very effective strategy. sword that is. Might just be the regular long sword. Can't tell what sword that is. I haven't seen that as much as of late. Still effective though. Yeah, 
And here are the stats for anyone who's wondering. Let me know if you guys come up with any cool bleed builds. I would love to see them. This is Moose Torrent, and I'll be back with another video for you guys shortly.